Meanwhile, back in the year one, when you belong to no one. Hey guys, I was just hanging out today, and I was looking up words, because I don't think there should be countries, because countries represent empires to me. And uh, I found it fascinating what countries, the word country really means in Latin. So I'm going to let you know what this means. It's, it's kind of ironic, so listen to this. Hold on. And I don't usually go to Wikipedia, but nothing else really had anything on country. Um, the word country has the, um, shoot, I can't even see it, has developed from the Latin word contra, meaning against, used in the sense of that which lies against or opposite to the view. Okay? Did you get that? It can also mean a region or a political border and such. However, I don't fit into any of those at this point because I just don't like the way things are set up. Now, I was reading on this immigration bill, the twos and the fro's and who wants it. And I remember going to Mexico when I was younger, like in the 70s, and we went through Juarez. I had a damn good time there. I really did, and I hate to see what's happened to Mexico because I had so much fun there. These people were awesome people, so they really were. They were human beings. They loved, they cared. They were just very kind people. I've never made it to Canada, but I know a lot of Canadians, and I've met some here in the United States, and they were very kind and loving people, but they're in another country or Opposite, opposition view, a view opposite of ours. That's what country means. Contra. Against. So I find it just very weird that we have these uh, imaginary lines. Back in the day, when we didn't buy, when we weren't a consumer nation, and we allowed that to happen, well, some of us did, some of, it were, <laughs> some of us were against it, but um, when, when we turned into this consumerized nation, no longer did we welcome Hispanics here. It used to be we welcomed Hispanics here to help because there was so much work, like picking apples or working in orchards and stuff. They really did some back-breaking jobs. And now we don't want them even crossing over a border. Although there's one Indian reservation that shares land in the United States and in Mexico. And that's the Tohono Autumn Nation. And that's the one they're militarizing because they think everybody's creeping in that nation. And that nation doesn't allow that to happen. That's not even where the people are coming in through. <clears throat> if our own government would stop the the use of force and giving guns to the to the wrong people in, in these countries, we could probably have a place where we could just, I guess if we have to have these borders, these invisible markers, where if I go to some of my brothers and sisters' reservations, they back up to a border in Canada, I have to tell you. And I can't walk over that invisible line because it would be illegal and I'd be thrown in jail. And that's just BS. So at some point or another, we got to get out of the box, turn the TV off, and start thinking about the world as everyone's home. Seriously. And it wouldn't take long. I mean, I know that, that, that if we could get rid of the empires and this militarization of, of wanting to place fear in everybody, so as long as there's fear and we bomb a few nations and we fear Americans that they'll bomb us back, we're going we're gonna to always have this control system in place. 
and unless you stand up and say I'm not going to tolerate it anymore it's going to be control you're going to be a slave to fear and to their control mechanism and I would like to go back to Mexico and visit with those nice very nice friendly people and to Canada without having to go through a border patrol and get checked and ID'd and this and that <coughs> are we all really that different when I went to India and I'm a Native American Indian but when I went to India I met all kinds of people and they were all fantastic and that was that was a long time ago too I don't know how it is there I know they're having a rough time but I think it's time to get rid of this now I know people say well the Bible prophecy or the Muslim prophecy or the this prophecy but I just in my heart think that there is a, there are some rules just really written in my heart that says we are a family we are human beings we are placed on this earth to be a family and we all have good and evil in us it's which one we choose to feed right I mean you may disagree with me but I really would like to uplift humanity because I would like to travel one of the places I've always wanted to travel to is Iran because they have some of the most historical information there that we can't get our hands on and I sometimes think that's the reason we start conflicts with Iran is so we can't go there and look at some of the stuff they have and with some of these other countries wouldn't you love to go see Petra? I mean think about it now I've been in Israel I got spit on I don't ever want to go back there never never ever ever um, however that's just my experience and my experience is my knowledge but I would love to go see other sites but I can't because they're in other countries or Contras and they're against and, and it's a view they're against a view so obviously me being a human being on this earth there's some pieces of papers that have decided and divided borders and say we're against you this really doesn't make any sense to me even the sovereign nations here who got their little reservations thought North America was for all of us they really did until they got put on reservations and now they're just trying to hold on to them because Obama wants to dump them all out of the reservations for the corporations um, the Indians are finding out in that bill they just had a meeting um, the Department of Interior did and in this meeting they didn't the Department of Interior represents the Bureau of Indian Affairs but not one tribal leader was invited to this and Obama did this big executive order on Native Americans so I see where this is going we're gonna get rid of them because they're protesting against all the stuff they're doing on Native American lands but they're gonna be bumped out into a world they don't know because a lot of them live in an old traditional manner so I'm just saying when you think about this immigration bill and all this stuff they're doing try to think of it from the heart and that there this earth was not if this God this, there, if there's a God and I believe in a creator the great spirit um, if this this great spirit put us all here and he didn't want us to connect he wouldn't have made ways for us to make, get in contact with each other and since we get in contact with each other and we're all humans and we're all in the image and have the imprints of his natural or her natural law depending on what you believe instructed in your hearts and you cannot follow that and you can't learn from each experience you go through then maybe we are just meant to be slaves and and let these ones who live in Washington take vacations and have mighty fine birthdays and go on trips on their anniversaries and every kid's holiday birthday and every time they get a chance go do things that you and I'll never ever get to do but I'm taking the other choice you see I believe in humanity and I think that we can unite I have friends on here that write me you don't know where they're from some of the comments but I do when I get my little personal messages and it's really cool to find out who does watch some of your videos and they all want the same thing they do they want to unify they want to meet one another they want to touch and hug 
Not one person have I encountered want to hurt another human being. They're tired of it. The world is tired of this game. So, I don't know. I'm not ranting at my regular people. I'm just ranting because I was reading words and looking up the definitions. Anyway, I do love all of you guys. And I'm tired of us. Just look. I mean, look, as far as I'm concerned, D.C., the people in D.C., and all these other places that try to rule us should all be put on an island and we the people surround them with boats, give them their GMO foods, vaccinate them, fluoridated water, have constant drones flying over. We could just each take turns, you know, not bombing them, but just give them a taste of their own medicine because we all love and we all want to be treated fairly and we're not being treated fairly right now. Not why they go off and do whatever they want. Anyway, I do love you all. I love everybody in the world. And I'd like to go to those places where some of my friends live. And maybe one day, if we can unify, I will. Peace and love, everybody.